Hello my dear medical students and junior doctors. Today I will do a small presentation on Cadacil. So this is our first slide. Here you can see Cadacil means cerebral autosomal dominant arteriopathy with subcortical infarcts and leukoencephalopathy. This is a autosomal dominant arteriopathy. There is another disease called Cadacil. So this uh, D would be replaced by R and there's a similar condition to Cadacil, just autosomal recessive arteriopathy. In case of autosomal recessive mm -hmm. conditions, usually the onset is much earlier than their autosomal dominant counterparts and severity is also higher than mm -hmm. autosomal dominant diseases. It is the most common form of hereditary stroke disorder and it happens due to notch 3 gene mutation on chromosome 19. Presentation can be any signs or symptoms or brain dysfunction which can range from migraine to mini stroke or TIA stroke, seizure, epilepsy, psychiatric symptoms like anxiety, depression, apathy, Parkinsonism and dementia. Here image A is showing periventricular white matter hyperintensities which can be commonly found in Cadacil and if you see someone with uh, characteristic white matter hyperintensities in the anterior temporal lobes or poles then it can be even more highly suggestive of Cadacil. There can always be some microbleeds and lacunar strokes in the brain image E and F are histological slides showing atherosclerotic deposits inside the blood vessel and increased thickness and hyalinization of the blood vessel wall itself. Here you can see severely disrupted vascular smooth muscle cells in image G and H and uh, made in deposition as indicated by the arrows Image I is showing N3ECD immunopositive punctate deposits, these rounded structures. We diagnose this condition by testing for notch 3 gene. Another thing, granular osmophilic material, if present, can be highly suggestive of Cadacil. There is currently no cure for Cadacil, but we can treat for the symptoms and for the complications. There are some general targets like blood pressure target below 130 over 80, smoking cessation, lipid lowering treatment, diabetes management and lifestyle advice. To be honest, these targets are almost always uh, for every stroke patient, not only the Cadacil patients. Symptomatic treatments, for example, um, migraine, TIA, stroke. For migraine, we can give migraine prophylaxis, amitriptyline, and other drugs like propranolol. For TIA and stroke, blood thinners. For psychiatric symptoms, we can give mood stabilizers. And for Parkinsonism, levodopa, carbidopa, and other anti-Parkinsonian drugs. Mm -hmm. So this ends my small presentation on Cadacil. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. Thanks for watching.